exercise 416. This will cover off learning objective 4, learning objective 5, and learning objective number 6. Let's see what we got. Break even and target profit analysis. Bait and tackle sells fishing equipment. One of the company's products, a basic tackle box, sells for $48 per unit. What do I like to do? Selling price, $48. Bucks, 100%. Sells for $48 a unit. Variable expenses are $36 per tackle box. So, less variable expense of $36. Gives me a contribution margin per unit of $12. 36 represents three quarters of 48, so that's 75 percent, which gives me a contribution margin ratio of 25 percent, and I'm told that my fixed costs are $18,000. Organized information. Let's see what is being what's being asked of us here. Number one, compute the company's break-even point in number of tackle boxes and in total sales dollars. So number one wants our fixed cost divided by our contribution margin per unit and also wants our fixed cost divided by our contribution margin ratio because that's how we get break even right we just got to cover our fixed costs we got to make enough contribution margin to cover our fixed costs so if our fixed costs are eighteen thousand dollars and we make twelve dollars for every single one we sell we must break even at fifteen hundred units the other way of thinking of that is if our fixed costs are $18,000 and we get to keep 25 cents of every dollar of sales, divide that by 0.25, we would need $72,000 in sales. If we keep 25 cents of every dollar, that means we keep $18,000. Our fixed costs are 18, we break even. Easy peasy. Number two, if the variable expense per tackle box increases, as a percentage of the selling price, will it result in a higher or lower break-even point? Why? And we assume the fixed costs are constant. Well, it's asking if variable cost per unit increases. Notice that if our variable cost per unit increases, what happens to our contribution margin per unit? If variable costs per unit increase, our contribution per, mar per unit, contribution margin per unit decreases. So if this is the, the formula for break-even, fixed costs divided by contribution margin per unit, if our denominator gets smaller, this fraction gets bigger. So therefore, the break-even point, if it gets bigger, the break-even point must increase. There's number two. Number three, at present, the company is selling 2,600 tackle boxes per month. 2,600. The sales manager is convinced that a 12.5% reduction, 12 reduction in the selling price will result in a 20% increase in the number of tackle boxes sold each month. Prepare two contribution income statements, one under the current operating conditions and one uh, as operations would appear after the proposed changes. All right, so let's do that. Let's find a color that makes sense for us here. Number three. So we're going to look at our current situation per unit and we're going to look at our proposed and our per unit. So that just we keep it straight, right? So under our current situation we have sales uh, and we're told that we're selling 2,600 of them right now and if we're selling 2,600 of them at $48 that gives us $124,800. Minus our variable cost, and we're told it's $36 per unit, times our 2,600 units that we're selling is 93,100. So we'll write the 48, the 36, and that will give us 12. This is nothing more than this replicated here. So our contribution margin is 31,200, minus our fixed costs of 18,000, will give us an operating income of 13,200. Now let's look at our proposed changes. We're told that we're currently selling 2,600 tackle boxes. 
we're going to reduce the price 12.5 percent well let's figure out what that is first if we're going to reduce the price 12.5 percent what does that make of 48 dollars if you multiply 48 by 0.125 you'll get six bucks which means our new selling price is going to be 42 dollars per unit we're not told that it changes our variable costs at all, so our variable costs will stay at 36. Our contribution per margin is 6. You can think of these things like a puzzle, where these are all little pieces, and sometimes we can figure out one or two of the pieces to help us figure out the rest. So, we're at 42 bucks per unit. But we're not selling 2600 anymore. Sales will increase by 20%. So if you multiply 2600 by 20 by 0.2, you'll get 520. So we're going to sell an extra 520 on top of the 2600. So we're going to sell 3120, but at the lower price of 42 bucks. That will come to 131,040. So so far so good. Our sales have increased 124 to 131, right? But our variable cost stayed the same at 36, but now we have to sell we have to cover more. 3,120, uh, 3, not 2,600, that comes to 112,320, which gives us a contribution margin of 18,720. Our fixed costs stay the same. We're going to take off $18,000. We're left with 720 in operating income. Not such a great thing. Not such a great thing. When, when you read the question at first, well, if you reduce the price by 12.5%, you'll sell 20% more. A naive person, somebody who hasn't trained in this, might say 12.5% reduction in price for a 20% increase. 20% is greater than 12.5. I'll go ahead and do it. And they don't really think it through, or at least calculate it through. So let's move on to uh, the next uh, part of this. Refer to the data in 3 above here. Refer to the data in 3 above. How many tackle boxes would have to be sold at the new selling price to yield a minimum operating income of 14.4 per month? So what we're asking is this. Fixed cost plus target profit. And it's saying how many? Refer to how many tackle boxes. So it's per unit. Because we want to know how many units. So it has to be you. Remember? So it's 18,000. And what's the target profit we're being asked for? 14,000. 400 and it's at the new selling price of 42 bucks which means our new contribution margin per unit is six we're using this number here not the twelve dollars from the original question so we divide that by six we get to five thousand four hundred tackle boxes we're only selling three thousand one hundred and twenty in this scenario we got to ramp it up to fifty four hundred to make fourteen four which is just a little more than we were making by doing nothing, by changing nothing. And finally, number five. Actually, let's label this number four. Number five, what's it asking us? Refer to the data in three above. How many tackle boxes would have to be sold at the new selling price to generate after-tax operating income of 16.8 if our tax rate is 30%? Well, that is our fixed cost plus... We need our target profit before tax. Our target profit before tax is our net income divided by 1 minus the tax rate. We know that, right? Divided by contribution margin uh, per unit. Contribution margin per unit. So we'll get the same $18,000 plus. We want sixteen eight after tax. So if we divide that by 0.7, 1 minus 0.3, that'll give us a bigger number before tax, right? That's what we want, a bigger number. Divided by the same $6, you'll find that your calculator work will lead you to 7,000 tackle boxes.